In this video, we're going to look briefly at how pulleys can be used as lifting machines. Now, what we've got here on the diagram is a very simple pulley mechanism. We have a cable which goes over the first pulley here, and then it goes around a second pulley at the bottom and attaches to the center of the first pulley. So here we have a fixed attachment point. And suspended from the pulley at the bottom, we have a mass. Now we're not going to do any calculations around this, we're more going to look at the principles of how these pulleys work. Now when we apply that force F to the cable, we're going to end up with tension in the cable. And the tension in the cable is going to be equal to the force F. But what we notice is that there's two passes of the cable between the two pulleys. So that force F results in double the force being used to lift the load. So let's say we apply a force of 10 newtons. When we apply a force of 10 newtons, we have a force of 10 newtons in the right hand cable, and we have a force of 10 newtons in the left hand cable, meaning we have a total lifting force here of 20 newtons. We can view this a different way. If we have a mass of say 10 kilograms, that mass will have a weight of 98.1 newtons. So to lift 98.1 newtons, we need a total of 98.1 newtons acting up to balance the weight. So the force in the left hand cable needs to be 98.1 over 2, and the force in the right hand cable also needs to be 98.1 over 2, meaning the applied force needs to be 98.1 over 2, which is 49.05 newtons. The force we apply with two passes of the cable is half the weight that we're able to lift. So if we want an improved mechanical advantage, then what we can use is compound pulleys. Now the pulley at the top there will need to be a compound pulley. And if we imagine looking at the pulley, from the left hand side like so, what we would see with a compound pulley is two pulleys mounted on the same axle like so. We would then have a cable passing over one of the pulleys and a cable passing over the second pulley. Now what we can see is the tension in the cable F is going to be the tension in each of these three cables here. So if we're lifting an object with a weight W, then we need to apply a force equal to a third of that weight. And we can have any number of these compound pulleys. The key piece of information here is that the number of cables passing between the two pulleys will give us our force ratio. So in this case, R subscript F equals three because we have three cables. And what that's telling us is that the force lifted over the force applied equals three. Now if you remember, that will also mean that our movement ratio is 3, and our movement ratio is the distance travelled by the applied force over the distance travelled by the load. And let's just check what that's telling us here. On our diagram, if we move this force through a distance of let's say 1 metre, then the cable is going to shorten by 1 metre between the two pulleys. Well, if the total length of the cable shortens by one meter, then each of these cables is going to shorten by a third of a meter. And that seems logical if we think about what's happening in our system. We move the force through one meter, and the two pulleys approach each other by a third of a meter. Now, as mentioned, we can have as many of these compound pulleys as we wish. So now let's imagine we're going to add a compound pulley at the bottom. And so with a compound pulley at the bottom, we can have two passes around the bottom pulley and we can have two passes around the top pulley. So let's just trace that through. We pass over the top pulley, we pass under the bottom pulley, we pass back over the top pulley for a second time, and then we pass back under the bottom pulley for a second time before reattaching to the center of the first pulley. Now we have four cables between, so this time our force ratio and our movement ratio are both going to be four.
meaning the force lifted or the weight of the object over the force applied equals 4 and the distance travelled by the applied force over the distance travelled by the load also equals 4. So calculations with pulleys are relatively straightforward. Once you can get your head around this idea that the tension in the cable means we multiply the forces acting upwards in the system.